Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. As you can probably see, we are in my kitchen today. And as I'm sure you can tell from the title, I'm going to be doing a what I eat in a day video. I have never done one of these before, so if you're new here and you enjoy today's video, please feel free to hit subscribe. But I've been asked to do this so many times and I'm only just getting around to it, but I'm really looking forward to it because today I'm kind of just at home. I've got a bit of filming to do and just a load of admin stuff. But I quite like days like this because it means that I can make all of my meals fresh. I can eat whatever I want, whatever's in the house. I'm probably going to be eating, so I thought I'd bring you guys along and show you guys what I usually have day to day to eat. Obviously right now it's currently the morning and I need to make my breakfast so we're going to switch to a bit of a vlog style and I will show you guys what I'm about to make. So this is a really typical breakfast that I have most of the time especially when I am home this is just one of my favourites to have. I feel like it's a little bit summery and a lot of people probably don't eat this until it gets a little bit warmer out but honestly all year round I just love granola, yoghurt and fruit. So here I have some Alpro coconut yoghurt. I'm not entirely intolerant to dairy but I know that it's not the best thing for me so I try and use dairy free products wherever I can then I've just got some honey to put on the top obviously some granola this one is from Tesco I think it's one of their own brand ones and it's like the tropical one with all of these little dried fruit bits in it I'm not gonna lie though you probably see this in the video but I tend to pick these bits out because I don't really love them to me they're just like entire balls of sugar so I take them out but the granola itself is really really nice so then to go on top I've got some blueberries raspberries and strawberries and then of course my bowl to put everything in so yeah that is what I'm gonna have for food and then I'll make myself a cup of tea to go with this all then I'll probably head into the lounge and eat all this while I catch up on some emails I want to get you all alone now and go hide away from the light but I don't dare to I'm too fragile and for that I do apologize maybe someday we can work it out but I'm a it's too late to try Baby, I don't dare to love you And you know the reason why Don't you know so that is my breakfast now done and of course I've got my cup of tea as well. So like I said before, I'm going to head into the lounge, sit down and eat this whilst catching up on a couple of emails and just planning out what I need to do today. Maybe someday we could work it out, but I'm afraid it's too late to try. Baby, I don't dare to love you, and you know the reason why. Don't you know I'm way too weak to swim? Can't you feel the waves come crashing in? Running out of safety nets, cause every night, every night, I fall down in the middle of the night screaming, oh my God. I'm back in the kitchen and it is now time for some lunch. As you can probably tell, I've done my makeup because right after this, I need to film a Boohoo haul, which will actually be already out if you guys want to check it out on my channel. But it is quite late. It is about three o'clock, which is quite a late lunch for me. I just kind of figured that because Brad is away in London today on business, he's going to be back quite late. So I thought if I have lunch now, I can also have a little snack in between lunch and dinner later. I just prefer to wait for him so we can eat dinner together and kind of catch up with each other's days. But yeah, anyway, beside the point, lunch is going to be, I feel like a little bit of a controversial one because to me it's really nice and I'm like obsessed with this meal but I feel like some of you guys are honestly gonna think what on earth are you doing with your life so what I have here is basically a little leftovers of our dinner last night so I always make this thing which I've kind of called a deconstructed fish cake. So I basically get like two salmon fillets, cook them separately in the oven, and then I just make a whole like mashed potato concoction with loads of veggies and stuff like that. And then I throw it all together and that's our meal. It sounds really weird and I will show you guys what I kind of mean. But yeah, I personally find it really nice. And I also add a couple of other ingredients, which is why I feel like you guys are gonna think I'm a little bit crazy. But all I'm gonna say is don't knock it until you've tried it. But right now I am super hungry, so I'm gonna start making my lunch. Really quickly, just before we get into actually making 
the mill. I just wanted to quickly jump in and give you guys a little update on my journey so far with the hair crush gummies from Perfectil. So if you guys have seen my morning routine, you may have seen me mention about these little guys here. And I said in that video that I would give you guys an update because I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna be 100% real with you guys. I was always very, very skeptical of products like this. Obviously there's a lot out there on the market and I just kind of think, is taking a gummy every day really gonna help you in any way? Is it gonna grow your hair? Is it gonna help your nails? Like I just was never really sure. But when these guys reached out because it is Vitabiotics, they are such a well-known brand and a well-trusted brand that I thought I would give it a go. And because I'd seen so many good reviews as well, I just was way more inclined to test it out and give you guys my thoughts. So I have already finished one bottle of these. You are basically meant to take them every single day with your main meal. So that could be your lunch or your dinner, whatever is kind of like your biggest meal. So I've been doing exactly that. I've been taking between two and three tablets. But I wanted to give you an update because I've surprisingly been very happy with the results and I have been seeing results, which is the main thing. Like I said, I was quite skeptical, but even though I have missed out on some days, these have still been making such a difference to my hair growth and also the strength of it. I'm really annoyed because I didn't actually take before and after photos. Like, I don't know why I didn't think to do that. But my biggest insecurity in my hairline is I have really kind of fine patches of hair either side of my temple here. And I'm not joking, ever since I've been taking these, I have not noticed them. And I feel like it's because these have just started to make my hair feel a lot fuller. And I've honestly noticed a difference in the growth of my hair too. So where these little bits of baby hairs are, they used to be so, so short and like they'd barely cover up these little patches that I have going on. But since I've been taking the gummies, they have become a lot longer, as you can probably see here. But it means that when I scrape my hair back, like this and I hairspray it all in place those little patches are covered so I'm really really happy with the results that I've seen so far like I said to you guys in the other video they are also really good for your skin and they have vitamins in them specifically to treat your nails as well so they're like an all-round gummy and yeah you can take it from me who was very very skeptical about all products like this as far as I'm concerned these are now part of my daily routine and I've been really happy with the difference that they've made so far so I'm going to keep taking them I know for a fact that when I run out of the last one I would definitely go and repurchase it but anyway ramble over I am going to be taking these with my lunch today because it is quite a substantial meal. But yeah, I just wanted to give you guys an update like I said I would. So apologies that this is definitely not the most appetizing looking meal, but I promise it tastes so much better than it looks. In here, like I said, we have mashed potato, two salmon fillets, and then I basically just add onion, carrot, spinach, leeks, I think, and that's more or less it. You can obviously add any vegetables you want. When I'm cooking the carrots, onion, and leeks together, I also squeeze in a load of lemon juice, and I just love the flavor that it gives. Also, I think I added at least one sweet potato to to the mash mix but I am literally just going to microwave this to heat it up for today's meal and then like I said I add a couple of other ingredients to this meal which you guys are probably going to question but like I say please do not knock it until you try it so the first thing I add is baked beans and then I also have hollandaise sauce on the top and then also one egg so yeah bit of a random mix but I promise you this is one of mine and Brad's favorite meals usually if we're having it for dinner I'll also add some extra veg like green beans or broccoli or something like that and I know baked beans aren't for everyone especially with a meal like this but in one of Jamie Oliver's cookbooks he has this like unreal fish pie recipe and he actually says to add baked beans and ketchup to it so he's a professional chef and if he's recommending it then I promise you it is actually really good <laughs> but yeah I'm just gonna prepare all this now and then I'll show you guys the finished product still doesn't look very appetizing at all but this is the final product like i say some of you guys will either totally get it or you just won't and you'll think it's the most wild thing ever but all i would say if you do like fish cakes and stuff like that please try it this way because you might surprise yourself and you might actually like it <laughs> but yeah this is what i'm gonna have for my lunch like i said it is quite a substantial meal which is why i'm gonna have my hair crush gummies now i will take these after i've eaten my food i'm just gonna sit here in the kitchen to eat this and then once i'm done i need to go and film also forgot to mention i'm just gonna have a pepsi with this meal <laughs>
disclaimer, I am technically cheating in this video because it is actually the next day. I know we're now meant to be on dinner time, but I had such a big lunch yesterday that I just ended up having soup for dinner and I actually ate it quite late. So I didn't film it. I just thought it was quite boring. If you are interested, it was just like a winter vegetable soup. It was really yummy. But yeah, I just feel like it wasn't the most interesting thing that I could have had. So it's now lunchtime the next day and I thought I'd film this as my dinner meal because it's something that we do usually have for dinner as well. Especially if we're in a rush, it's just super easy to make, but it's also so, so good. Like I said, it is a super quick and easy meal. So these are the kind of like filled fresh tortellini from Tesco. They have so many different flavors. This one is just the spinach and ricotta. And then my favorite sauce to go with it is the tomato mascarpone. Obviously they have different options for the sauces too, but yeah, like I say, it's just a really quick and easy meal to make. If Brad gets home from London late, this is definitely something that we'll just throw in the pan and cook really quickly. So yeah, I'm gonna make that now for lunch, but like I say, I thought I'd include it in the video because this is also a really easy dinner option. single day just stays the same wake up feel that emptiness of face wash away the pain and put some makeup on my face yeah. every single day just stays the same i am giving all to you in vain but i guess i had it coming so why should i complain why should i ever stop ever stop I'm really sorry for not having a proper outro but I thought I'd just quickly jump on here and say thank you guys so much for watching as always and I will speak to you all very soon in my next one bye guys Woo!